everybody, and welcome to Developing with Swift, Foundations Episode 2. And if you haven't seen Episode 1, where we downloaded and installed Xcode 8, I would invite you to go follow the link in the description below and see that video so you can be caught up. Today, we're going to be covering variables. What is variable? Well, think of a variable as a glass box. Because in computer programming, we need to be able to store information, retrieve it, manipulate it, show it to the user. So we need a way of storing this information. Well, with a variable, we can do that. Let's take a look at how we can write our own variable. To write our first variable, we start off with the word var. This signifies that we're going to create a variable. Then, after var, it needs an identifier. We're going to give the identifier of name. After the identifier, we have to give it a assignment operator, which can be equals. And then we need to give it its value. So I'm going to put my name. What this is saying is I want to create a glass box with a name, a little sticker on it that says name. So I know how to identify it later. Then the contents that's in the box is this name, Matt. So now we have a glass box with a sticker on it that says name and you can look inside the box and it shows Matt. How do we use that? What if we want to look at that name? Well, we just give it the identifier, which is name. What if down the road we want to put another name in the name box. Can we do that? Well, sure. Let's change the name box to have a value of Tim. And you can see on the right that now Tim is in the box. I want name to be Nathan. And over and over, you can keep changing it as needed. What else can we do with variables? Well, we can hold other information, give it an identifier of age, and say, well, you know, age is 28. We could say height is 510. Now, I mean, you could have put, you know, truck equals 510. But you want to make your code readable. When you come back a month or two, or somebody, someone else completely non-related to this project comes back and looks through your code, you want it to be readable. You want to understand what you were thinking at the time when you wrote it. So having a height being associated with truck doesn't really make sense. Variables is of the type called mutable. Deriving from the term mutation, you can change it. In the next video, we're going to look at constants. From the word, you can guess that they don't change, and they'll be immutable. So join me in the next video, episode 3, where we talk about constants. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.